so they've got a mixture in this line up here Welcome to the old classic car channel and today there's another classic lorry road run going on so I thought we'd nip over and just have a look see what's going to turn up Let's close this door Right, let's go and have a look see what's going to show up Nice Foden Well, it looks like we've got a few lorries and trucks here that we've not seen before Another big Mac here T registration. That's a lovely old Peterbilt here last time. Now America is represented by this fantastic Mac. Brand new tyres. And alongside the mighty Mac, we've got this fantastic Leyland, Cl Leyland Clydesdale. I can't say I've seen this one before. In the livery of a potato haulage firm of Cleverley, dating what to the late 1970s. Looks like it's probably one of its first runs out after restoration. Looking at the condition of it, fantastic. Flatbed body. For sign writing, of course. That's a Shropshire registration as well, AW. So maybe it's not travelled too far. And alongside this glorious Leyland, we've got an equally fantastic Bedford, also in the livery of a potato firm. This is a Bedford TK L registration, so that would be 1972 or 1973. Again, fantastic sign writing, fantastic condition. I suspect these two lorries are owned by the same person. And it's even got a lovely old parking light type thing on the roof. Reminds me very much of the clip-on lamps that you used to put on the top of the top of the window when you parked up back in the 50s and 60s. That is a lovely Bedford TK. Great view out of the cab, nice deep windscreen. And as I touched on in a video early this year, I think from Astor Park. The only problem with the TK, if, if you can call it a problem, was it didn't have the tilting cab, whereas the 4D series did, I believe. And you had these flaps here to get at some of the running gear and the engine, which is tucked away down there. But it wasn't really a substitute for having a fully tipping cab, but nevertheless they sold in great, great numbers and they were continued in production for many, many years. And it's lovely to see this immaculate one here today. There's something just pulling in. Scania. The sun's coming out as well. Not one but two Bedfords. seen this one before several times another immaculate example
next to a very modern DAF we've got a very unmodern Leyland DAF this is an H registration AW Shropshire again registered I don't see too many of those around now. And alongside that, there's a Dodge Ram truck. All very modern, so we won't dwell. Bonnie little Mini Cooper. We've certainly got a mixture in this line up here. Nearest is a ERF. It's an ERF E10 of the mid to late 1980s, I'm guessing, going off the registration. Well, looks like it's very local, which uh, Shropshire sign writing on the doors. Very bonny example indeed. There's a big following now for these 1980s lorries because they combine being quite old now and a lot of people started out driving these but they're also very usable you know I think the plan today is they're going to head off for a little run around the Horseshoe Pass in North Wales and something like this is modern enough that you could do it with ease um, and that's why they're so popular now alongside that we've got a beautifully turned out Scania Quite nice to see a few of these with trailers on. I'm guessing it makes taking them out a very different proposition to just taking a tractor unit out. Here is a lovely old British lorry for you, an old Atkinson Borderer of the early 1970s. What a Bobby Dazzle that is. In the livery of DJ Coxhill of Knighton in Radnorshire. Many relatives going back a generation or two of ours come from the Knight and Radnor area of Wales, so it's good to see that. The sun's coming out as well. Fantastic. What well, more could we ask for? Just look at the paint finish on that. shouldn't be underestimated just how much time and effort it takes to keep these old lorries in this kind of condition. One run out down the road and they become filthy. There's a Foden heading past. Let's have a closer look at this TK1260 line painting vehicle that's parked up in the corner there. And it's really neat to see one that's got its sort of specialist one-off uh, coach work if you like on the back. It's not a flatbed, it's not just a tractor unit, this is a full, fully kitted out bit of, bit of kit, bit of history. So it's a registration, so it's the 1982-83-ish. So it's quite a late example of a Bedford TK lorry. The other example over there was early 1970s, but the cab changed very little. The very early cabs in the 1960s had what they call like the whiskers on the front here. And the Bedford was like separate lettering across the front panel here. There's B-E-D-F-O-R-D on the front there. So some of the details change a little bit, but basically the TK continued in production from the 1970s in various uh, payload configurations and wheelbases from the 60s right through to the early 1980s, as evidenced by this lovely, lovely line painting vehicle here. And that's just a joy to see. Let's have a quick look around the back.
I'm sure there'll be people watching this that remember using this sort of line painting equipment back in the day. I wonder how different it is nowadays. really is lovely, lovely lorry. And there's the engine. And here's the fo uh, Foden on the end of the line. Another Foden, the 4400 Foden, L registration that drove in before. It's always nice to see a few different lorries turn up at these meets. Mm. Over here at the beginning of this lineup we've got the Scandi that we saw driving in before. Next to that, another Swedish favourite, this time it's a Volvo, this is a, I think this is F12 Turbo 6 with intercooler. Haven't seen this one here before. This particular Volvo is left hand drive, and it even has headlamp wipers. I think that's probably the first time I've seen a setup like that on a lorry. That's a real smart truck that is. Over here we've got a ERF EC11 Olympic. I must profess I don't know a great deal about lorries of this era, but if you can shed light on any of the vehicles shown here, please pop a note in the comments and fill me in because I'd appreciate any info that you can provide. There's a few little miniatures up on the dash. If you've seen any of the previous classic lorry videos I've put up, you'll recognise this ERF with the fantastic sign writing, the wood effect sign writing. I think we may have seen this Volvo FL6 before as well. Always good to see these out and about. And this drove in before, a Foden. So once again, nice little turnout of lorries on what is a slightly chilly autumnal morning. Yeah. And over the other side of the car park we've got this lovely old Audi GT D Reg, so 1986. Do you remember when you used to actually your registration number on the glass? It's a really smart car. Just happens to be in the car park here, so I thought we'd have a quick look. Yeah. Sure, sure caught a glimpse of an ERF, and here it is. ERF built in Britain. Yeah. 
also potatoes. Two old Volvos. I've seen this one before, I think. And another one. This is a Volvo F10. Better go and stand somewhere where I'm not going to get flattened. Someone likes off-roading. I didn't see this pulling in. This is Bedford CF2 camper van of the late 1970s. Really useful vehicle if you want to stay over at a rally somewhere. Fully kitted out with luxurious accommodation inside. Just have a quick peek in there. Because Bedford's another name that's long since disappeared, sadly. So the more of these that get preserved, the longer the name lives on in people's memories. This is quite a tidy example. A CF came out, was that the early 1970s, late 60s, replacing the Bedford CA. And this is a CF2 with a slightly different front and various other little upgrades. This is the Pioneer. So a quick look around the back, trying not to get flattened by the passing traffic, which is here. Nice old trunk on the back. A few nettles. Yeah, that's quite a cool thing. And the creator of the car traction channels, busy at work. So what are you up to? Just doing a review of that, this Atkinson. Oh yeah. Which is your favourite here? Um, it's definitely up there just because it's one of the older ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old like, is good. I like the ERF of the... Yeah? Yeah, the massive, like... Oh, yeah. yeah, that one. <laughs> And yet another classic Volvo turns up this one from Acton Bernal in Shrewsbury, a Volvo F10. So this latest arrival is a 1985 Volvo F10 in the livery of Alv Albert Davis, Transport Limited, established 1928. And like all the Volvos I hear today, it's beautifully turned out. Just look at this.
another ERF. I wonder what's hiding in that race car trailer. One of these newfangled modern dafts about to leave, Irish registered. Arch rivals back in the day. It's a rare sight. Someone's a bit off their patch. He's not overloaded. Well, I think everyone that's taking part on this particular road run around the Horseshoe Pass and Langothan, they've all headed off now, so I think we'll probably do the same now. I'm assuming the Kenworth and the ERF over there aren't taking part today, so it's fantastic to see this old girl. So, thanks very much for watching. Please check out some of the other classic and vintage lorry videos on the channel. Um, I'm not sure how many more lorry outings there'll be this year, but hopefully there'll be more next year and we'll get a chance to video a few of them. So, thanks very much for watching and more videos very, very soon. Bye for now.